Introducing, in the blue corner, the challenger, the three-time heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Louisville, Kentucky, weighing 217 and one half pounds, introducing Muhammad Ali. Eastern Pennsylvania. He is going for a record eight straight KO in the heavyweight title defense. He weighs 211 and one half pounds. He is the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Larry the Eastern Assassin. continues to clown and taunt and tease, but Larry Holmes is here, meaning nothing but business. Angelo Dundee and Gene Kilroy say that Ali has Holmes totally psyched, but it's hard to believe when you see Larry Holmes standing there with nothing but seriousness on his face. Ali, always the actor. Be cool! Richie Green attempting to give instructions. Shut up! Quiet! Shut up! Quiet! Quiet! Go ahead. Look, Go ahead. I gave you guys instructions. I gave, I gave you guys an instruction and you're wrong. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? No questions. You're ready to fight. Okay. You're right. We are there. Do you have any questions over there? No. No. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's get it on. The history of boxing is on the line. So is Larry Holmes' title. Muhammad Ali can definitely prove that he is not amongst the greatest, but definitely the greatest in everybody's eyes, should he defeat. With determination, the look in his face, we're waiting for the opening bell. I remember Joe Lewis got in real good shape right, right before he fought for the title, and he looked terrific, but he didn't have the reflexes. We'll see here if he's still got him. Unleash 
I think that's the, the one to look out for. That's the one he put Liston away with. I think he popped him pretty good. shots to see if the fighter can really uh, do any damage to him, but this is has a double, a two-fold effect. There's a replay of that get, shot. The right hand he had. It has a two-fold effect which let the, let, let the other guy know that Ali can take the punches. And he also slipped an awful lot of punches. I, I think one left jab got in good, and uh, and uh, it, was a, it was seen to be a, a exercise in frustrating Larry Holmes. thing for sure, Holmes is not intimidated by him. No, I'd say they both respect each other, despite what they're saying. Yeah, whatever the shenanigans is, these guys really respect each other as two great fighters, and they're in there, and they're going to fight. As you say, there was nothing, he didn't do anything that round, but it was tense the whole way. It was, uh, it was like about to explode. Larry Holmes is making the pace in the fight. There's no question about that whatsoever. Forcing the fight all the way. No damage by that hook whatsoever. I think Muhammad's trying to position himself where he can use that right hand to sneak right in here. Yeah, he's, he's, he's trying to work Larry into a position where he have an opening on this state. You got to get off on him! You got to get off on him! Ali trying to do what he used to do when he was much younger and boy a bit. See, he's making Larry miss a lot of those jabs. Slipping nose. He's working and trying to talk, Larry, but Larry's got his man on his business. Yeah. Larry's cool. He's not wasting any energy. Larry also noticed he's trying to get himself in position to win yeah. too. Yeah. They've got a lot of respect for each other. Look at that. Ali's I, still showing some nice head reflexes. I was just thinking that. He don't look like a 38-year-old man slipping that jab. No, he doesn't. Larry looks strong. Ali trying to say to Larry that didn't hurt at all. Dynamite's about to explode, you know? So we go to the 
corner of the Eastern Assassin, the heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Holmes. Championship of the world, Larry Holmes, Muhammad Ali. First two rounds, you have to score ever so slightly in favor of the champion. No heavy blows were landed. The aggressor all the way was definitely Larry. Ali's only thrown one punch in two rounds. They're both still feeling each other out. Larry is busy. He's trying to he's trying to really get in there. And Ali is moving and slipping punches. But he ain't throwing no punches, so yeah. every now and then Larry do get a real good shot connected in One thing you have to remember, the size of Muhammad Ali, and throughout his career, he's always been able to take a real good shot. Yes, he has. Yeah, that's one thing they didn't have considered in the computer when he fought that Marciano in the computer fight. They didn't know how well he could take a punch. Another fact that be considered, while Holmes is not considered a knockout artist, all his title defenses have been via the knockout route. Right. Uh, questions the man's heart has got to be crazy. Both of these fellas have displayed uh, great hit with some pretty good shots going yep. on. Yep, he got him right there. Good shot. psychological battle going on in that ring that is uh, that they don't see on the screen as a fight. These two guys is trying to mentally outdo each other and, and Holmes is determined to try to knock that legend out of the way. Here we go, round four. Muhammad Ali has 
a three inch reach advantage, but to this point has not used it. all over the world watching this one. Great Britain, Germany, Mexico, we can go on and on and on. Some 40 or 50 countries. Watching it live.
looked like a good punch, but nothing happened at all there. In fact, Holmes did an excellent job of slipping that right. punch. Keep moving. That's it. Nice right hands in there. Shoot it in there. This jab ain't going to go. that time. The right hand got through to him. Trying to talk to Larry. Larry talking right back. by Larry. Ali pounding again about the knees. Holmes not pounding with the punches, though. Holmes is really throwing those punches with meaning on them. Those are jabs, but they're definitely punches here, Don. Yeah. Yep. Not answering it. number five and Larry Holmes is continuing to build up punches which means that uh, as you take a look at both corners here if uh, Holmes continues to build that up now this is the 10 point must scoring system in the fifth round you'd have to score that at least 10 8 for uh, Larry Holmes yes. and giving away two maybe three points on some judges will score a three point difference is going to make a big difference because Holmes has got to have got 10 points in every single round and Ali certainly hasn't thrown any punches so he's lost uh, four five six points for the first five rounds at least right yes and this will this as we go through now the midway through this fight will begin to develop into what happened in the same uh, Leon Slink's first fight, unless Ali begins to change his style immediately. Yes, he's got to start throwing, like, throwing some leather, because right now he's only on the receiving end, you know. And I think he's trying his strategy to wait out home to see if he's going to tie in the seventh and eighth round, which he's predicted all along. Well, that's unfortunate, but it's almost like what happened with Mercado and, and uh, Leon. Once again, right back on top of him again. Fighting Mohammed. Holmes is also uh, seems to be building confidence as he uh, is able to hit Ali too. Yeah, it was interesting in the early rounds when, when Mohammed did throw, Holmes would flinch and cover up, but he hasn't thrown enough. And now I think Holmes is getting more confidence. Yeah, he's gaining. He's gaining confidence. He has. Uh, he has this posture, and he's and he's now becoming. Uh, confirmed in it, you know, and he's, he's really throwing his punch with authority. Ali now, I think Ali starts to throw a lot of blows, but he don't throw them. I don't know whether that's because he's apprehensive of whether or not uh, he's going to miss or his reflexes are off or what he's holding back to. He's jabbing him in the belly. But those, those punches, Chris, are taking no toll whatsoever. He's just pouring at him, really. At least he's in a posture to throw. Larry's beating him to the punch, too, when, it, when they exchange all the time. That's what I was wondering, whether Ali's reflexes is good enough. Uh, he starts he start several punches, but he never follows through with them. That's, that's well, that's the whole question in the age fact. That never mind the weight he lost and the strength and the heat and all that. The reflexes are what goes. Six to this point, it's been all Larry Holmes. Go after him, Mohammed.
coming up to the end of round number six. Continue to evaluate the action here. It's really sad to see Muhammad Ali using hardly any of the things that made him famous. the ropes and hide and try to do anything. When he's out in the center, go to work for the combinations. There's where you're going to get him at. As you see on the screen, his 60th career fight for Muhammad Ali. But it's Larry Holmes that's been building up the points. We'll show you a little bit of a slow-mo action of some of the activity in round number six. Holmes wailing away, not doing any tremendous damage to Ali, but scoring punches and building up a nice score for himself. Here we go, round seven, the heavyweight championship of the world. Richie Giacchetti's going to want him to fight Ali right in the middle of the ring. Still hasn't thrown many punches at all, did nothing but try to catch him. There's no question that he doesn't have the tremendous legs anymore. There's no question that he doesn't have the lightning combinations he has. If they're at times when you like to see him looking good. Now Larry gives back some of the Ali stuff to him and then is able to hit him. Got to be very frustrating for us. Yes, what he's doing now, they both is fighting the psychological warfare as well as the boxing match here. And this fight means a lot, a great deal to both of them. As well as Larry Holmes knows Muhammad Ali, he's not going to be psyched by any of Ali's clowning. He's fired too many rounds of training during Ali's trade well. years. Ali really believed that he's going to tie after the seventh and eighth round. trying to move, try to deliver, get inside and get out. But Larry is very quick, making him miss punches. He's doing some devastating jabs. He's throwing jabs with a four and a power. Notice another thing that uh, the whole attack for Holmes is centered on the head of Ali. And scores. He scores where? Left hook and right hand. Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's the end of round number seven. So we continue to evaluate the action here at ringside. And all I can think of is that it's kind of sad at this point to think how great Muhammad Ali was in his prime and to see a man that's just kind of trying to Looks to me, hang on and, and keep the thing going for one more time. Evaluating it uh, unofficially here at ringside, I have uh, 
Larry Holmes, 10 points out in front after seven rounds. 10 points out in front of Muhammad Ali. You have to base that on the fact that uh, Muhammad Ali has only thrown maybe three punches in the entire fight to this point. Uh, hasn't landed any he's real a heavy blows. He's a anyway. courageous guy, though. Uh, Bob, oh, there's no question about oh, that. Oh, what a guy he is to take this kind of punishment and uh, not respond. He's a proud guy, and he's really trying to use his psychic powers to try to bring Larry into some sort of control. So far, it's been Larry Holmes in total control, though. Stick him and move, Muhammad! <laughs> Muhammad Ali trying to do something against Put nature. Put it in his face! Become the oldest man to regain the heavyweight championship. Jersey Joe Walcott did it. At the age of 37, Ali is 38. As Mrs. Muhammad Ali, more than interested spectator here at Caesar's Palace. Larry Holmes continues to provide the action and continues to score. Another good shot scored to the left side ahead of Ali. You get the idea that Muhammad Ali might explode at any time, too. It doesn't seem that his strategy could be to just sit back and sit back this long. I, I don't think... Uh, I think he's figured something to do. I know he's taking a lot of punishment. Going into the fight, you, you wouldn't imagine that a fight plan would be to lay back and take that many shots. He's trying to, I think he's dreaming about what happened in, in Africa, basically where you go to 70 rounds and then he can come back again. Totally different ball game when you're talking about the heavy, thick muscles of the George Foreman. That'll never happen here because Holmes is too strong for that. Ali comes in and Holmes is able to counter it. That's what it is going to be. He's going to be a counter back and forth. Even when Ali springs into action, Holmes is going to spring back in action. moments now in round eight. Holmes looks awful strong. Well, he continues to develop the same way. It's John Travolta. Just in one more of the celebrities on hand here. That's Caesar's Palace. Uh, Don King, uh, you, you talked about the great pride that Muhammad Ali has had. That's what uh, you have to almost think it's a bit sad to see because everybody would love to see this legend continue. There's no doubt uh, uh, that Ali has been great for all of the history of this sport. Well, I think the crowd and, and uh, the crowd here, the sellout crowd, and the two billion people that will be looking at it around the world is a tribute to this man's greatness. Uh, when all of the writers be writing their stories and discounting Ali, he still has countless millions of fans that are still believers. I think that's a noble tribute to a great athlete. Get that towel. Get that towel. Puffy around the eyes from some of these jabs getting through. Larry Holmes, we're in round nine. Schedule as you know for 15. Stick work. Keep it work. That's it. Keep it work. Stick, sit. Get the wide up. Get the wide up. Right hand now. As 
I recall, it was Muhammad Ali said that homes have fallen nine, wasn't he? Yes, he said it's the hand of his hand. Hand, the most solid right hand of the fight there, taken on the chin of Muhammad Ali. Is Ali hurt? Can he be going down? How much more of this can he take? Hit him on the right hand! Right hand moving! Larry really seeing off in round nine. but doesn't have the great speed he once had. He's got great heart, no question about it, but Larry Holmes, it's all his way right now. That one hurts. Bring it up, Big Jeff, bring it up. Bring it up, Big Holmes is really having a good round here now. Ali taking some vicious shots. Puffy under that left eye now. He's got the courage, but he just hasn't got yes, that. Yes, he has. He's a, he's a terrific yeah. man. He's a, he's a great athlete. Larry Holmes is a great fighter. Larry Holmes is going about his business to prove to the world that he wanted just to. He wants to be recognized as heavyweight champion of the world if he's fighting. And he is really teeing off on Ali. hitting sharp blows, left hooks and right hands, working the body, then working the head. He's methodically and calculatedly going about his business, and Ali is not responding in the like that Ali is used to, and the fans are used to seeing him respond to it. Muhammad Ali sitting down on that stool. Angelo Dundee saying over there in the corner, you can barely hear him saying, okay, he's got to start to go now, Muhammad. He's, he's got to be wearing out, but there's no, no sign of it the way Larry Holmes has been fighting. No. But no. To show you the way. It's sort of like Mercado waiting for, for really Leon to tie up. Dominated. But you, you notice the crowd is still playing with Ali. They're trying to inspire him. They're chanting Ali, Ali, Ali. Uh, it's got to be an awful feeling when your spirit's willing and your body won't do it. Body there we go. I remember watching Joe Lewis do the same thing. Richie Green tells him to take some of the grease off the face of Larry Holmes. Now let's see if Ali, if he ever intends to pick up the pace of this fight. He better start soon. I think it's survived. Punches and Ali doing nothing, just Stick taking shots. Stick in. Come on, that's it. Dig in, dig in. Bring it up, Big Jack. That's it. Go in. Stay on. Stay on. Right back. Both that's Muhammad's it. eyes are very right puffy now. Everything that Larry Holmes is throwing now is getting through, too. It wasn't happening in the first three rounds. Yes, his punches are becoming pinpoint accuracy now. He's, he's really connected with Muhammad. And the hooks he throws, he throws hooks.
book right hands that no one else throws in the business. And Larry is very effective with the book right hands. Give it to him, Ali! Ali! Everybody in attendance here, and I'm sure watching the whole circuit around the world, would love to see Ali explode for Larry to make some sort of fight out of it. To this point, it's just Larry Holmes teeing off on him. You don't You don't As soon as he found out that his arms weren't working, he's going to he's staying there. Well, the end of the round ten. Stand and keep going. What a courageous stand. I remember after the first, the, when Spinks took the title from him, so the reporter was asking Muhammad, don't you feel devastated losing your title? He says, losing the title is one thing. It's not like losing a job or losing your life or losing your wife. So, he, uh, he said, that's lost. He, he handled it with dignity. Check him out. Oh, yeah, no. And the Angelo wants to stop the fight. And they all have right. with him. Stop the fight. Angelo Dundee fight. wants to stop the fight. That's it. They stopped the fight at TKO. It'll be scored. As a technical knockout. Mary! Mary! Get my purse! My purse! My purse! Back down. We gotta keep him out. circuit done done main cameras over here as you can see this pandemonium in the ring I have Don King with me who is going to make the presentation to Larry Holmes gentlemen, Muhammad Ali fails to answer the bell for the 11th round. The winner and still heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Holmes. Here we get to get in and speak to the champion.
gonna get fucking killed. to the former champ. Just a bit, Larry. I know it's a very traumatic moment for you. The camera's over this way, Don. And the people around the world, Larry, want to hear from you. You just beat your idol. You retain your title. No question, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Well, I did what I have to do. I want to say, first of all, Mom, I love you. And thank Reverend Jacobs for praying for me. And we'll be home Sunday. But I did what I had to do. And I still love the guy. I don't care what nobody say. He's a of athlete. Everybody does. Larry was the emotion at the end of the fight. The, uh, really the, the sadness of beating your idol. Yes, it is. But you know, we all come, we all go. And having this man left, but he believed so strongly in himself, he thought he could beat me, so he came back and gave me a try. You can't knock a man for trying. Okay, we know that he has to get out of here, so congratulations. That's all I can say to you, Larry Holmes. Now for London Television, Reggie Gutteridge. Did that fight to go? Yes, I did. I thought it would go a little quicker, but we did whatever we had to do to main the heavyweight title. And just to prove you, I'm the only the screwed heavyweight champion in the world. There ain't nobody around to beat me. And I don't care what nobody says. Ali is the Zill's baddest guy that ever lived. And he's one hell of an athlete in my book. Oh, you were very emotional at the end there, Larry. Well, obviously, it was a great moment in your life. I've never seen you do that before at the end of a fight. Well, I never felt that way before about anyone. I always respect the man. People all around the world respect the man. And he's going down in the history as one of the greatest fighters of all time, especially at my time. Well, that's very modest of you, Larry, and I sincerely hope that your career goes on well, better than ever from here. Thank you. Thank you. I had a true champion in every respect. Larry Holmes taking time to talk to millions around the world. We'll attempt to get down out of the way here. Well, as you see, the replay of the dramatic finish of the 10th round. Muhammad Ali couldn't answer the bell. I suppose he wanted to come out, but Angelo Dundee said nothing. No way. The former champion fought as courageously as he could, but he just didn't seem to have it. We'll show you a bit more replay of what happened. And this was pretty much the story throughout. Larry Holmes teeing off and his kind of a childhood idol. pretty much the story here from Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's been some night of boxing action. Again.